Greetings. My name is Michael Earlywine, and I've been studying and practicing astrology for almost 50 years now. And for the last 40 years, I've been studying and implementing uh, a wonderful technique that I want to share with you that I call star types astrology. It has to do with being able to determine the star type or the archetype, we could call it the archetype, or another word might be the particular tribe that each of us belongs to, the lineage that we just naturally find as our home. Now, star types astrology is both ancient and modern. It's ancient because it uses the traditional uh, astrology natal chart, the same one that we all know that, that astrologers have used throughout history. But it's also modern because it takes advantage of what astronomers have learned about the heavens and our solar system up into these modern times. So there are two charts that I'm looking at. The result is a unique combination of ancient and modern astrology that combines the ancient astrology chart and view with the modern astronomical chart and view to give us kind of a 3D perspective of our particular birth chart and therefore our life. Uh, this is kind of how it works. Star type analysis plots large scale planetary patterns as seen from Earth and compares those patterns to the corresponding patterns that astronomers see functioning throughout our entire solar system. Star types charts not only the outer circumstances of our birth, you know, like our personality, what we would call our karma, but also the internal, the more spiritual qualities that are embedded in that same birth moment, as seen through the astronomy chart, which is solar system centered or sun centered. And it gives us a glimpse into our inner motivation, what's been called the Dharma chart or the life path chart. Combining these two unique charts into a single integrated view provides the equivalent of like a 3D view of our birth moment and at the same, it involves the same moment of time and the same exact planets of course, but from two different pers perspectives. And the result is an interpretation that not only charts our person and the personal circumstances which each of, each of us finds ourselves by just living, but also of our more inner and spiritual side, what's called the Dharma chart, as I mentioned, a chart of our life path. Now, the star type's profile is particularly effective in defining our approach to relationships. It shows us how we are attractive and also how we are attracted to others and they to us, and how we might go about taking advantage of our natural talents and using them in relation to others to help balance out our weak points. Anyway, the result is an enhanced perspective of ourselves that in effect amounts to like almost like a stereo image of our birth moment and chart, looking inside and out. Star Type's analysis offers a, a very complete perspective on our birth moment along with insights into what talents we naturally have, how those talents might be used, as well as our relationship role, the role that we will naturally play or feel most comfortable with, with our partners, with romantic, and also friends and co-workers. So you might want to check it out. I have lectured and taught classes and done private consultations for more years than I want to even think about. What I have found that works best is a one-to-one -one presentation of the astrological chart, I mean, your personal astrology. In these star type reports, I've tried to do just that, to walk you through what is most important about your astrology chart step-by-step, step, just as I would if we sat down together for a chart reading. If you're interested in uh, finding out more about your your astrology chart, you can just go to astrologyland.com or the specific report I'm talking about here is called Star Types Astrology and it's at this uh, URL that I'm going to post here. I hope you enjoy it.